All right, man. On the yeah. record, Gideon back in the building. What's going on, my G? Man, I'm in a bad spot. Yeah, I, I could be better, though. I could be better. I I I see. You know what I'm saying? I I, I you know, I've been checking you out on uh on Instagram and I've been uh following you on YouTube for a little bit. Uh you you've been you've been MIA on uh YouTube though, but uh before yeah, I, be, before you talk about all that in and out. Yeah, before you talk about all that good stuff, man, why don't you go ahead and reintroduce yourself and uh let everybody know who you are. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Gideon, but um, yeah, I'm just another trucker on YouTube. My channel is not all trucking anymore because I'm trying to expand beyond that because the trucker space is saturated on YouTube. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa, saturated. whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute, wait a minute. See this, this where we, this where we gonna don't see eye to eye. Now in the begin, I would see that. In the beginning, I, I would see that like it was all set, which which it really was. I mean, you know, back then, you know, like I say, maybe in the in the late two thousands, maybe you know, maybe around two thousand four, five, and six. It wasn't that much trucking content back then, but then later down the line, you know, around maybe. 2012 2013 2014 that's when we start seeing an explosion of truckers coming on there in, in particular you know in particular you know like low shine parts uh socal trucker brown and you know and the rest of them you know around that time now I would say around that time it got like you know real real saturated with everybody coming in and trying to do the damn thing and all like that breaking the you know breaking apart from from clicks that they once were but now I I I don't know bro I I wouldn't say it's it's saturated now now we could talk about TikTok where it is where it is painfully saturated so i mean i you know it's like a lot of it's like a lot of youtube truckers left to go over there to do content for tiktok now so i mean you know it's and I and yeah, I can understand, you know, try to change one's channel, you know what I'm saying? Because not everybody on YouTube is interested in trucking anymore like they are on TikTok. Right. Well the thing is, I'm not saying I'm not making trucking content. I am going to continue to make it, but mm -hmm. that's just not gonna be the only thing I talk about on my channel. Exactly. That's all. Exactly. All right, man. I well, just want to keep my, my options open. Well, of course, you still got a follower, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, uh, you know, I'm still checking you out. You know, I like that. Uh, you did a you did a video. And I, I think you took it down. And I'm I'm kind of curious as to why. But you did a you, you, you did a video. And you was talking about, you know, guns and weapons. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, on the truck because, you know, that's been one of the, you know, that's been one of my, my highly top, you know, my highly topic uh, content as yeah. of late, you know what I'm saying? You know, companies not allowing uh, drivers to carry the weapons on the, on the truck, you know, for safety yeah. reasons. And, you know, I, of course I got my opinion on it and, and everybody else respectfully have their opinions on it. But you 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 did an actual video, you know, showing, you know, showing your merchandise. So I'm I'm just kind of curious to know why you took it down. It's something I don't want to speak about, but um a comment I'll just say this. A comment I made in jest. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have said it. It was taken the wrong way. And 
I could have, you know, backed up and stood 10 toes on it mm-hmm. and just, but the thing is, I, I broke one of my principles. I brought a man's wife into a situation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I ain't got no, no, no beef with that woman. So as a man, I should not have mentioned that woman. I didn't mention her by name, but I mentioned by her by association. Right. And, you know, people started coming at me talking about, like, I'm getting inboxed. People come, I'm coming to my crib. You come to my crib, you're going to leave in a body bag. That's period, point blank. I don't care if I'm home or not. My kid's mother is going to be there, and she could handle my AR-15. She can handle my Mossberg 500. She can handle any of the new guns I got since then. So it is what it is. But I did apologize. I made the video. It wasn't out of fear. Mm-hmm. It was more so, uh, um, you know, it is what it is. This is what I like. I like guns. I love to go shoot them. But then I realized it could it could have been perceived as a threat. Okay. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna take this down. I don't want the drama associated right. with it. And that's, you know, what I'm saying. That's 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 big of you. You know what I'm saying. I mean, I, I, you know, I seen the video. I did not, you know, pretend uh, pertain to know who you was talking about or anything of that matter i was just more interested in the hardware that uh that yeah. that that you was uh presenting but it, it was good of you it, it was good of you to to do that Hold on just a second all right all right yeah as i was saying it was good of you to uh to do that and you know and the, and and you know, take the lead as far as if anybody took that out of content. So, you know, that's what's up, man. So salute to you. But yeah, for that. As, as far as guns on the truck, my thing is I'm going to carry anywhere it's legal for me to do so. Mm-hmm. I don't care about company policy because that company does not have a prison cell to put me in. But if I'm going to abide by the local laws, I pay attention to what states honor my permit and which states don't. So, yeah, I'm I'm very, very knowledgeable upon the letter of the law when it comes to, you know, as it pertains to firearms. Okay, that's what's up. You know, like I say, and and you're absolutely right. See, my, my thing is this. I mean, when it comes to my safety and everything, I'm 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 going to do Nothing everything. Yeah, I'm going to do everything possible to make sure that I'm safe. So, if I'm going to if if am I, am I'm going to come on so see my thing is this, social media got everybody so fucking twisted. You know, you got people coming on, uh you got people coming on, you know, talking about where their weapons is at, telling people what they're going to do in case and all like that. I'm like this, man. Don't, don't, don't bring it on social media. I mean, if you're going to do it, if you're going to pull it out, use it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If you if you're going to pull it out, if if you're going to pull, don't talk about it. Don't tell a. Don't come on like you know like I seen the one video on TikTok. Guy over here holding the clip, talking about if you come on my truck, uh. Just know this is the last time that you're going to be on the truck. And I'm over here like, bro, number one, you got full metal jackets in in, in the clip. So and that's going to do nothing not, but overpenetrate. Yeah, not, not only are you going to take that person out, but you might take out a person in the next vehicle as well. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I, I peeped your video on that, and that's all facts. I'm just saying, you know, somebody could be up in the front, you know, watching, watching Pinky and, you know, old school Pinky with the big booty over here with the twist and all like that. And all of a sudden, ding! what the fuck? And that's it. <laughs> that's it. So you, you, you took one out in self-defense, but you took another one out. You know, just by a stray. Right. Right. Yep. So, yeah, like I said, man, I mean, you know, if you're going to 
if if you if you're gonna use it, if you're gonna use it, use it wisely. That's number one. Definitely right. use it for you know if it's if if it's with attaching, you pull it out. That motherfucker jump out of your truck. He runs, and you shoot at him. Mm-hmm. That's another thing too that people don't seem yep. to understand. The threat is gone. The threat is gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you shoot him in the back, you're still gonna be in trouble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but yeah, it just, just yeah. you know, just you know, just you know, on social media like Facebook, stop showing pictures of of the gun in the truck and all like that. And again, like I said before, make sure you guys read that uh that thick ass uh that that employee handbook because somewhere it says, yeah, you know, we don't allow guns on the truck, but. I mean, you know, just like, you know, that's why I like my company because they don't have that policy. Right. You know, sometimes if you want to bring it, this what's not known don't need to be known. That, that it was, we'll yeah. just if I was that. still at Stevens, I would not have shown. Mm-hmm. I would not have shown anything. I would not have mentioned anything. Mm-hmm. I would have just carried and shut up. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So since then, man, you you still rocking out with uh with VL. Uh I see you still rocking out with VL. Uh any 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 changes, any um uh, any different feelings for the company? Was any anything negative, positive you want to say about the company? To be fair. You know, I like to give both sides. I don't like that they stopped showing rate cons. Mm-hmm. That strikes me as shady. But my lows have been paying more since they stopped showing rate cons. Mm. So I've actually been making more money. Okay. So if that's what they're paying me, imagine what they're hiding. So I'm not going to act like they're not stealing, they're not taking nothing off the top, mm-hmm. because that's what every company does. Mm-hmm. None of these trucking companies really pay you what you're really worth. Facts. But, you know, what can we do? Just try to just try to run and and and, and try to do the damn thing. As long as they still, you know, it's you know, different different opinions, you know, because you know, I had a I had one gentleman on. He he just recently <laughs> came back on uh and you know he he recently came back on and talked about vl trucking but um but yeah i I can honestly say that this year was yeah i I say this year was the year for vl trucking though for real i mean it was a company that it was a company that came out of nowhere to be honest with you if 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 you didn't know about vl trucking before uh 2021 you damn know about it now at the end of 2021. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So, but, um, bro, got, got, got to talk about what happened today, man. So, uh, man. is, is first thing first is, is this your first accident ever in life? This is my first accident ever in life. All right, so so give it so give it to us, man. Uh, you you trucking along the highway? Take it from there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm on I ten headed east because I'm I live in New Orleans now, but I'm heading home. And as I'm heading home, oh, that was it, yeah. So as I'm heading home, hold hold up, hold up, that, um, hold up. That was today. Yes, that I, was today. I ten. Yes. Bro, what time? Oh, shoot. Let me see. After 12 in the evening or before 12? Yeah, yeah, it was after. It was about 3, 3.30-ish. Bro, I was on 19, bro. I was on 19. I'm driving along. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm driving along eastbound okay. around Mile Marker 211. It's a place called La Plage. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I, bro, I think I was. I, I think I was in that slowdown. Okay. So, 
Mm-hmm. I, so as I'm driving along, mm-hmm. traffic, you know, it's a big slowdown in front of me. Right. So, of course, you know, we need our space. So I start making adjustments so I can keep some space cushion. I'm using my jake so I don't wear my regular brakes out as much. Right. And I'm slowing on down. And as I'm slowing down, all of a sudden I hear, ah, yeah. And in a split second, the vehicle collided with my truck. Wow. And I'm naturally, I'm pissed. I am irate. I am. So, yeah, I'm mad because I'm mad because, um, you know, this is my truck. This is my livelihood. This is my living. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to recall. And, of course, I'm directing my driver to what it takes me. Oh, okay. But, okay. um, yeah, that's why I'm a little slow with the details. So I slowed down, and all of a sudden, I, <clears throat> boom, it hits me. And then I see all their airbags pop out. And I'm like, oh, my God, what is it? It just hit me. And I know this caused some damage. And it knocked me over into the left lane a bit. Mm-hmm. And I struck another truck on my other side. But that truck was fine. There was absolutely no damage. All it did was just hit my mail, my arm, um, my rearview mirror. Okay. So I wasn't tripping on the mirror. It could be popped back in place. But when I got out, I kept trying to move the truck, and the truck cut off. I'm like, "What's going on?" The guy said, "Man, all your diesel is on the ground." He said, "All my diesel is there." So I'm like, "Oh crap! What if this explodes?" So I quickly jumped out of the truck mm-hmm. and got on the side of the road. Yes, ma'am. So, since I'm out of the truck now, I went over and I'm, I'm pissed, but I'm wondering what is going on. So I wanted to ask the lady. I, I composed myself because I didn't want to just yell at the lady. I saw she was already shaking up. Mm-hmm. She looked like she was injured. I'm like, I hope she's all right. So I asked out there, hey, um, what happened? Are you okay? The daughter said, yeah, this idiot right here, he ran into my mom and knocked us into you. I'm like, wow, there's a Toyota Tundra. Mm-hmm. And this old dude was driving it. He was, the dude was so old, his, his, um, the year that he was born has BC on it. <laughs> Damn it he man. was so old, he was one of the three wise men. <laughs> he was right there. He was at the first supper and the last supper. Oh, you say he was at the first and the last supper. God damn it! Thank you so much. So he was at the first and the last supper. So the so so the old man, uh, the, the the old man driving the tu- uh, the tundra, uh, for whatever for whatever he reason, the Highlander. for for whatever reason, struck the Highlander. The Highlander lost control and 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 just literally smashed into the into the passenger side of the truck. Yes. So now y'all in the middle of uh y'all y'all in the middle of I ten of mm-hmm. you know pretty much stop traffic and everything. Uh, I think I was coming. Yep. I, I think I was coming up on the residual after the cleanup. And all like that because I was yeah. I was stuck on people I-10. were still going around. Yeah, people were still going around, but at one point it stopped completely mm-hmm. because while they were going up under my truck to take the drive shaft off so that they can tow me, mm-hmm. it was a guy who was hauling a house. He had that wide load, mm-hmm. so they blocked the street off for a while while he did what he had to do, and then that guy came by. But, um, yeah, man, like, after that, he hit this person, they hit me, all my fuel came out, my truck is, and the way the company handled this, man. How how did the company handle it? How how did they, how, so how did they handle they it? The how, how did they handle it, and will you be able to get a, well... Of course, they're gonna have to take the truck and what total it out or 
try to repair it? Yes, that's what I'm trying to find out. They got the standard, you know, give me pictures, fill out the report, give me a copy of the report. No problem. No problem at all. However, the problem came when they called the tow truck. Mm -hmm. The tow truck came Mm -hmm. and they said to tow it to Freightliner in Slidell. Okay. I said, okay. So they'll be able to fix Yeah, yeah. Freightliner will be able to fix it. We've called them and they we told them about it and they said that they'll be able to fix it. Okay. So I get there. The tow truck was over $1,300. And when I got it there, and I'm like, you know, they're going to make me pay for this, but insurance is going to take care of this. Insurance is going to take care of this. Right. So when I got there, then I found out immediately they don't do body damage. They don't fix accidents. Yeah, they don't. Okay, so they don't do uh, they don't do body work. Yeah. Okay. And they were like, "Well, can you at least do the estimate?" I'm like, "I, I said, can y'all do?" They said, "No, we can't do anything with body work. All I can do is put new parts on there, but your frame could be jacked up. If that frame is bent." That truck is total. Mm. So how would so you how how I have to wait in oh, was, oh okay. I was about to ask you, how would you know if the if the frame or anything like that is messed up if you're not able to uh if they're not able to do anything for it? Would they what would you have to do? Tow it to another shop? Yeah, that's what they're gonna do Monday. They asked me to leave it there and they said they can get it towed to the shop on Monday. The okay. closest one is in Mobile, Alabama. Damn it, man. That's the closest one? Well, that's what they're looking at doing and taking it to Mobile, Alabama. Fuck! From Louisiana? 110 miles. Yes. From Slidell, Louisiana to Mobile was actually 110 miles. I thought it was longer. It was one in Jackson, Mississippi. Mm-hmm. But that was that actually was further away than that one. Fuck. So we're going to take it to Mobile, and they're going to do an estimate and see how long it takes to get it fixed. If they can fix it, they may have to total it out. If they total it out, that guy's insurance is going to they gonna come off some money. They're going to come off a lot of money because he had no business still driving. Then that one woman, she, her nose was hurt. And she was saying she was dizzy and mm-hmm. her head was hurting. She was on the ground sitting there crying. And it's like, it, I feel so helpless because there was nothing I could do to help that woman. Wow. And you say this is your... Paramedic again. You say this was your very first accident. So uh, after... After the accident, you, you you know, we talked offline and you said something that you had to go and get a get a drug test. Why? Yeah, that's standard was, with most companies. But it wasn't your it, it wasn't it wasn't your fault, right? It wasn't. I did not get the ticket. The old guy got the ticket. And I said I asked the officer, I said, Hey, have you determined fault? He said, Oh yeah, we've been determined fault. It was him. He said, we're about to cite him. <laughs> quick, like, okay. quick he fast said, yeah, yeah, in a yeah, hurry. Said, you're not at fault. <laughs> yeah, he said, you're not at fault at all. You were just driving in your lane. All the evidence shows that you were just an innocent victim. <laughs> like, said, yeah, that I was. You, you, said, you said that they came and said that quick fast and in a hurry, huh? <laughs> yep. Uh, the cleanup process, the cleanup process on the on the on the highway. Like I said, I think I got the I got the residual in. I think you know it was pretty much uh, getting uh, getting out the way. But how long did it how long did it take them to you know come remove the cars, clean up the diesel? Oh, it took so long. It took so long. Um. I got to the place in Slidell, the dealer. I got there at 6. So I'm just out there sweating. I'm ready to 
once I finish talking to you, I'm going inside taking a shower. Cause I'm hot, I'm sweaty, and I stink. <laughs> <laughs> did your company put you up in a in in a hotel, or or did they get you home? I'm home. Oh, okay, okay. I'm home. And they didn't do anything. Like when I spoke to the first person, they were telling me. Um, I said, "Well, look, since you made this call, you made the decision to tow this truck to this place." Mm-hmm. You're paying for the tow, right? No, you would be responsible for the tow. I'm like, how am I responsible when you made the choice? Exactly. Why would I be responsible when you made the choice to take this tow somewhere that I didn't choose to go? Somewhere that's ineffective, that can't do anything to mitigate the situation at all. I say, so why am I paying for it? Well, because you're the the contractor. you, You have to pay for this. I said, this, uh, this ain't some bullshit. This is straight out of a bull's rectum. Uh, so shit. I what? get to the point, Gideon, I get another call from somebody higher. Yeah. Gideon, why why do I get the why do I get the feeling that I I, I, I see some troubled waters ahead? Yeah, yeah. But I did get a call from another person at the company. And she came through and said, Well, no, no, she was mistaken. This is not your fault. Mm-hmm. This was an accident. Mm-hmm. She's like, we're not going to just pile this on you. We're going after their insurance. Okay. For this. Okay. I was like, okay, that's more like to say, yeah, yeah, you shouldn't have to come out of pocket for anything at all because this is not your fault, period. Right. Okay. That's, I said, okay. That, that, that sounds that like, that, that sounds, that sounds a hell of a lot better, bro. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. So, unfortunately, the place there, no one will be there until Monday, and they're locking the gate. So, I'm just going to be home until Monday. So, this is loss of income because mm-hmm. there's quite a significant amount of revenue that I'm missing out on. So, you'll find out Monday in the meantime. Would they would they give you uh, a loaner? truck or this when you m- monday is want to know monday is when you're going to find out everything as far as if you get a loaner truck or they'll give you another truck right how things are going to be taken care of gotcha well bro man i'm a hey yo I, I i'm 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 glad you're all right um you know i'm, I'm glad you're all right i mean you know accidents happen you know, and I'm glad that you was on a, you know, that that you you didn't cause it. I'm glad that you you're here to talk about it. I'm glad everybody else uh, is is here. Uh, hopefully the hopefully the older gentleman will sit his butt down. <laughs> I hope he has some really great insurance. Uh, I hope he do. <laughs> so. But uh yeah, some really great insurance. This is gonna be okay. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. But like I said, man, I'm I'm glad you're here. You know, I'm glad you're here. Glad you came on and chop it up with me about it and all like that. You know, let everybody know that you know accidents happen, and uh, and that's that's what it is. An accident. <laughs> you know, you know, I had to get 110 years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> You heard they reduced that down to 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of, uh, you know, I stopped talking about it. I, you know, I'm, I I stopped talking about it. I, I said my piece on it. Uh, a lot of truckers have their opinion and it just got a little bit too political for me. So that's why I stopped talking about it. But I'm still standing on for, I'm still standing on for what I said, though. But uh, but other than that, man, you know, he got got down to ten years, probably five with good behavior. So hopefully, um, of course, he ain't going to never drive again. So no, you know, and he, he shouldn't. Yeah. So when he come out, hopefully, uh, you know, he, he'll find something that hopefully he'll be able to take care of his family and all like that. So. But uh, yeah, man. But 
like I said, it's good to have you here. And I appreciate you coming on and chopping it up with me, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. So you go in there and get some cleanup, get that uh get that good loving in and um and uh and hopefully uh everything, you know, uh, work out for you. If you want, man, give me a call and you know, keep me posted, keep me updated. All right, then. All right, bro. You take it easy. I'll holler at you later, man. All right, man. Be easy. Be easy.